Hey everybody, Brandon here. Welcome back to Cinefessions, where we talk all things media. And of course, I am somewhere else today. So I'm actually over at my parents' house right now. And what that means is that I am very close to a second in Charles. And for the longest time, I've been going to second in Charles and I always see these boxes of movies. And every time I think, you need to do one of those for the channel. It reminds me a little bit of my inherited movie collection. What I'm gonna do is go to Second and Charles and hopefully they have them still. They have these blind boxes of, I believe it's DVDs and Blu-rays. And I wanna say there are 50 of them. Maybe that's wrong, maybe it's 30. Maybe it's even 25. I, okay, I'm terrible. I don't remember, but you get X amount of movies for 30 bucks and it's, it's a, it's a blind box. And so I thought, you know what? Let's see how it works out. I have no idea. They have so many random things at Second and Charles. So I'm sure most of the movies are going to be things I don't need or want, but why not do it for science, right? Like it sounds like a decent enough idea. So I thought it would be fun to take you guys along for the journey. So uh, starting here, we're going to head over to Second Char and Charles now. Going to hopefully find the uh, the random movie mystery box. And then I will take that home and film myself opening it up and share with you guys that experience later tonight. So let's do it. If you guys are excited about this one or if you just have a second, please hit that like button down below. That engagement really does help me out. But with that said, let's not waste any more time at all. Let's dive right in to a mystery DVD and Blu-ray on unboxing video. All right, so here we are, Second and Charles, and I realized that I think I'm coming to the one that has less than the other one did, so hopefully we'll find something. Let's take a look here in the free bin before we get in, and looks like a whole lot. Oh, a Joel, Joe R. Lansdale. That's kind of interesting. Probably gonna grab that one, actually. But Oh my gosh, an Animorphs book. Oh, but it's number four. I already have that one. That's cool though, in the free bin. Predator, probably not bad, but I don't need it. What else we got over here? Yeah, I'm not taking that. Ooh, Elmore Leonard book. Pagan Babies. Good author. Don't know the book at all. Probably gonna put that back. Oh my gosh. Look at that. Carolyn B. Cooney. Are you kidding me? A point yeah. horror like book in the free bin? Yes, please. Super Fudge, Judy Bloom. The Beast. Don't know that either. More Judy Bloom. Lots of Judy Bloom. I was never a Judy Bloom reader, but. Okay. All right. Well, that looks good. We got two, so I guess I'll go with those. Oh, California Dad. I always see these at the thrift store, but never read those either. So, anyway, we'll get inside now and see what we can find. Oh, wait. Christopher Pike. Oh my gosh, I almost left this one here. All right, very good. Former library book, but I will take it. Gotta love the free bin. All right, so you can see they have different kinds here. So this is a hardback book mystery box, so 20 plus hardback books, which I don't really collect. And then we have music CDs, 100 of them for 30 bucks, but here's what I came for. 50 DVDs and or Blu-rays for 50 bucks. So grab one of these take it home and uh, see what we can get out of it. All right, got it in the car, ready to go. Got a stack over here that I'll show you guys later outside of uh, my daughter's books. But yeah, excited to get this home. Okay, so I am back home now and I am just like, I am so excited about this. It's just bringing back memories of my inherited movie collection and I'm hoping there's gonna be some good things in this box, but Honestly, my my hopes are not or my expectations are not too high. But anyway, before we jump into this here, I do want to mention I did pick up some books while I was there and I was considering showing them here, but I've decided, you know what, I'm going to put, save that for a different video because you guys are here for the movies. So let me let me spin this a little bit. This box is actually quite gigantic um, and it's heavy. So it's going to be in frame a little bit. Let me uh, get me back in here again between Lord of the Rings and the Chucky collection. That looks good. All right. So I'm thinking I'm going to try to handle this like I did my, inher my inherited movie collection where 
I'll open it up and we'll just kind of talk through it. It'll be very little editing. So you guys will just have to deal with me, you know, blabbering on about nothing. I do have my uh, phone here for my movie app so I can know what I have, what I don't have. And I'll probably make three piles again. Ones I'm going to keep, ones that I am unsure about, need to look up at the end. And then ones that I am for sure trading or selling or whatever the heck I'm going to do with them. So let's do some predictions before we get into this just for fun. So uh, again, there, this is a box of that's supposed to have 50 movies in it and these are dvds and or blu-rays so my thought is i am going to predict that i will get 20 percent blu-rays which means only 10 blu-rays that's my guess i have a feeling this is going to be very dvd heavy and then how many do i think i'm going to keep out of this box i think that i will keep and frankly i'll probably keep most anything I don't own at this point, unless I, I already have seen it and hate it, then I won't keep it. But I'm thinking I will probably end up keeping 20 out of the 50. That's my guess. That's my prediction. 20 out of the 50. So 40%. Now, I hope I keep much more than that. And I hope I get a lot more Blu-rays than DVDs. I just don't see that happening. So that's my prediction. I obviously, you know, I have no clue where this is going to go. But this is so cheap, right? 50 items in here at a uh, total of $30. So that's less than a buck each. So that's really good. Uh, I don't, I didn't do the math on that yet, but I'll, I'll put up whatever that math is down here uh, per item. So we'll see. I have no idea how this is going to go, but I'm excited about it. So I'm going to open this up, get things a little bit ready. I'm not going to look in the box as best I can, but I'm going to get the box ready so I can just reach in and grab something. And then we're going to get going on this thing. All right, so I was thinking, like, I have no idea how this is even packaged, and it looks like they're kind of just tossed in the box. So, uh, I you know, spines up. So I'm trying my best not to look in, because I don't want to spoil myself at all. But uh, I haven't uh, seen much at all. So let's see. Let's just get this thing rolling here. For, okay, hold up. Hey, we got a good good start here. This is Gus Van Sant's Last Days. And I believe, yeah, this is about Kurt Cobain. I mean, this is, this is kind of awesome. I... Would never have guessed something like this. Now, I'm curious if the movie looks okay. And looking at it, it actually looks like it's in darn good shape. So one for one, I am absolutely keeping this one. This looks awesome. Official selection in the 2005 Cannes Film Festival. Gus Van Zandt. All right. Let's hope this is a sign of things to come. I have no idea. That was That's a great pick to start. All right. And then we have Night Watch. I don't know this one. This is an edge of your seat suspense thriller with Ewan, uh, Ewan McGregor and Nick Nolte. Wow. Okay. I'm intrigued. And this is, you know, looking interesting. Like, look at that cover. That looks awesome. It looks like a fun thriller, an intense and shocking thriller. Josh Brolin in here as well. Okay. I'm, I'm getting a little too excited because this is pretty sweet. Like, I've not seen this one. I don't even know this one, frankly. So, good. Two for two. Let's keep on rocking here. Let's see what we got next. Okay, so these are the types of things I was expecting. And this one, I'm certain I own already. I think I actually picked this one up in my inherited movie collection. So this is a four film pack. We have Dead and Gone from 2007, Boy Eats Girl from 2005, Return of the Living Dead 3 from 1993, and then Return of the, of the Living Dead Necropolis from 2005. So yeah, not bad at all. Um, this is probably on two DVDs. Oh, you know what? It's actually on three DVDs. That's interesting. And this one looks pretty good too. Mm, yeah, it looks like pretty good shape on that too. So I'm going to double check on this one at the end. So I'm going to put this one in the maybe pile. And then at the end, I will go through and let you guys know what I'm keeping and what I'm not. I wish I could do something with this. I'm going to move this over a little bit. All right. Next up, uh, Eternal Sunshine of the Spotless Mind. I actually talked about this one recently because it is coming out on 4K from Kino this month. And I am so excited to pick it up. I do own the Blu-ray on this one though. So you can see it actually has a remainder mark on it, which is interesting. Uh, but this is my first one that I am definitely getting rid of because I already own it. So great movie though. All right. And then we have Courage Under Fire, a Denzel Washington and Meg Ryan film. I've not seen this one either, but I'm keeping it because I don't have it. At least I don't think I have it. I do have a Denzel set, but I'm Ah, oh, man, you know what? Actually, I have to put this in the maybe pile. I'm not 100% sure if I own this one or not. So, you know, I think I started doing this later in The Inherited. Let me pause for a second and just take a look if I own this one so I don't have to waste all this time at the end. Okay, so I don't own this one. So that is definitely staying in the collection with that awesome cast. And I did look this up and I remembered 
It has been months and I still haven't added my inherited movie collection to my collection app. So I have to like manually go over and look at my movies to see if I have this one in here. So I will do that before this video is over, but I can't tell you now if I'm keeping it or not. So anyway, okay. Looks like we have a triple pack here. So that's interesting. Oh my gosh, this is actually awesome. Okay, this is a Jungle Girl, Jungle Girls triple feature. Golden Temple Amazons, Amazonia, the Catherine Miles story, and Diamonds of the Kilimanjaro. Loaded with features including photo galleries, talent interviews, promotional trailers, and more. Heck yes, this is awesome. Now, this is a set, like I recognize, yeah, the Shriek Show presents, I recognize this. And there are some in this series that are quite rare and hard to find. I don't know if this is one of them or not. But this is awesome. Like, I am so happy to get this. Let me see if I have any other, just to give a, an idea of what we're dealing with here. I think a lot of these are cannibal films, which is, I mean, fun. I'm not the, honestly the biggest fan of them, but like, I like them and I have a good collection of. So this is fantastic. I never in a million years would have guessed I would have gotten something like that. So I'm curious if that counted as three or as one, but I'll have to find out at the end when I count all of them. Next up is, oh my gosh, the original Buffy the Vampire Slayer. I am so impressed so far. <laughs> like, this is amazing. All right. Let me see. I'm, I'm not going to check all of these, but I'm just curious. Yeah, it's in really good shape. So, Buffy the Vampire Slayer. This is a really good movie that I was realizing recently I don't own. I know this is available on Blu-ray, but yeah, definitely keeping that for now. So, Buffy the Vampire Slayer. Awesome. Hoffa, another one I'm absolutely keeping, Jack Nicholson and Danny DeVito. So this is a, a close to home story because Jimmy Hoffa, of course, is a Detroit guy and I've not seen this before. So this is really cool. Danny DeVito directs? I didn't even know that. Like, I, this is great. All right. Heck yeah. So cool. I'm definitely holding on to that one. Hoffa, my dad would be very interested in watching that one if he hasn't already seen it because... He is, uh, you know, he's always interested in Hoffa things for whatever reason. Then we have the Falcon and the Snowman. And this is another one. I know about this movie because I was watching somebody's YouTube channel and they mentioned, I think it was probably Ken over at Mid-Level Media mentioned he didn't know this one in a live stream or something. And, and people were commenting like, it's a great movie. Check it out. Now I have it in my collection. I will absolutely check it out. Like, heck yeah. Timothy Hutton and Sean Penn. And it is the uh, OAR, so that's fantastic. Original aspect ratio, if you're not familiar with that term. Definitely holding on to the Falcon and the Snowman. I'm just so blown away right now. Vantage Point. Now, honestly, I think this is a movie I sold a while back, and I so I don't have it. So as long as I, if that's true, if I don't have it, then I will hold on to it. Or it could be in my bindered movies also. Not 100%. You know, let me just, let me check my app really fast. So it turns out this was one of my bindered movies. So I do have Vantage Point. So that one will go into the trade pile or the get rid of pile, whatever I'm going to do with them. When Harry Met Sally, believe it or not, I don't own this movie. And it's funny because I bought a book recently that talked about some of these rom-coms from Rob Reiner. And so this is definitely one I've been wanting to check out. So very excited to have this one in the collection as well. This is a classic and I've not seen this. Like I've seen parts of it. Like, I, you know, there's very infamous scenes in here that I've seen before. And I remember my family watching this, like my parents watching it when I was much younger, but I was never interested in it at that point. So I never watched it. So that's going in the keep pile. So make note, I'm keeping a lot more than I expected, but I've yet to stumble on a Blu-ray. So that's a little bit disappointing. Ah, Flatliners. Now look at this case. I've never seen this cover art before. Oh, I love it. It has a person's address on there. I probably should take that off. Well, yeah, whatever. I'll, I'll try to blur that part out. But anyway, yeah, Flatliners. Like this is actually not my favorite movie, uh, but it was interesting. It was decent. Kevin Bacon, Kiefer, Kiefer Sutherland is in this and Julia Roberts. Uh, basically, it's like these people go to the brink of death. I think they actually end up dying. That's what the whole Flatliners team term. And it takes them to like this other kind of uh, dimension or this like realm of understanding. It's really weird, uh, but it's okay. And I will keep this one because I did get rid of my Blu-ray and I've been thinking, you know what? I want to give that one another shot. So I might do that and I'm going to uh, hold on to that one. I do. I did find the remake recently on Blu-ray, so might as well hold on to that. Oh my God, Adam Sandler. Click. This is awesome because I am trying to get as many Adam Sandler movies as I can in my collection, and I don't own Click. 
with the slip cover. Oh, God bless it. That's awesome. Click is staying in the collection as dumb as that movie might be. It's Adam Sandler. It's fun enough. Oh, The Girl Next Door. I really like this movie. Uh, now, if you are of a certain age, like, love it, man. Uh, uh, Alicia Cuthbert. She was on the cover of Maxim around the time this came out. And you know I was buying that magazine because that's just the way it was. I was in high school. You know, that's what you do. Uh, but this is a really good movie. Like, it's really fun. And as far as I remember, I don't actually own this one. So happy to have this one in the collection. And we'll definitely revisit that at some point in my life because I really like that movie and love the actors in there. What do we have here? This is a weird double feature. V.I. Warshawski with Kathleen Turner and another stakeout. Interesting. So I don't have stakeout. I remember another stakeout. It's another one. My parents used to watch that when I was younger, but I never sat down and watched it. I was just too young. Like, I didn't care about it at that point. But I've never heard of V.I. Warshawski. Or, yeah, Warshawski. A tough-talking, sexy Chicago private eye. <laughs> who knows her two most lethal weapons powerful charm and all the right moves i mean yeah i'm gonna hold on to it why not uh don't know anything about it but yeah is this mill creek ah oh, it is mill creek entertainment very cool looks like it comes on one double-sided disc so yeah i'll hold on to it i don't know if you guys know anything about that let me know never even heard of it so we'll see how that is and then we have shattered with pierce brosnan now this is familiar Gerard Butler. Why do I know this? Because it's been an inherited movie collection pick? Maybe. I don't know. No one knows how far they can go until they are pushed. This is directed by Mike Barker. So it looks like a thriller. Looks fun. Yeah, I'm going to hold on to it. Looks interesting. Shattered. Pierce Brosnan's excellent. Like, why not? And then we have... Ooh, this one's kind of... A little bit grody. This is Net Games, but C. Thomas Howell is in here. Another one. I just never heard of this. Adam Vance has a seemingly perfect life, great job, terrific friends, and a great marriage. His only complaint, his sex life is a little slow. I don't know. I don't even know what kind. Oh, so a psychotic. Uh, she's as psychotic as she is seductive. So it looks like a sexy thriller from when? The early 2000s. Okay. Uh, <laughs> produced, written, and directed by Andrew Van Slee. So I don't have high hopes. But it's giving me vibes from my inherited movie collection, so it's going in the keep pile. Why not? You know, why not? All right, and then we have, I keep getting my arm stuck on there, No Way Back. Heath, uh, Helen Slater and Russell Crowe is in this. Well, this looks interesting. Russell Crowe, Helen Slater, and Michael Lerner star in this white-knuckle action thriller about one man's revenge and another man's redemption. There are so many movies in here that I have just never heard of before, and that is awesome. I really thought, Keep Pile, by the way, I really thought this was just going to be like those giant movies, those big blockbusters that they just didn't want anymore. They had, you know, hundreds of copies of them, and they didn't want them anymore, but that's not what it is at all. But speaking of something similar to that, Gravity. Oh, look at this. It's the old family video package. Uh, this is very much like my inherited movie collection. I'm going to say that a hundred times and I apologize, but this movie's fantastic. I absolutely love it. I do already own this one. So that one will go into the trade pile. Only my third movie in my trade pile, which is phenomenal. A sealed one? Oh, I love this movie. I actually just bought this one recently, though. The Heat. Sandra Bullock and Melissa McCarthy. I think this movie is absolutely hysterical. Uh, I know comedy is as divisive as anything gets in this world, but I think they are absolutely phenomenal together. But I do own it. So that, you know what, though? I guess I'll, this is going in the trade pile, but I will probably keep that version and then just get rid of the, the version that's not open or that's already open. I really don't think there are any Blu-rays in here. Oh, as I say that, I'm literally picking up one right now. My first Blu-ray. Oh, so this is the type of thing I was expecting. Avengers Age of Ultron. Not a bad movie at all, but I do own this one on 4K already. So Avengers will be traded away. No digital code, just the Blu-ray disc itself. So yeah, Avengers Age of Ultron, a cool one. Good Blu-ray to have if I didn't already have it. So that's a little bit unfortunate. All right, you know what? I'm thinking all of those are Blu-rays. This one isn't. Let me grab this one. Oh, nice. Con Air. Awesome. Nicholas Cage, John Cusack, and Michael, uh, or John Malkovich, rather. Like, oh my gosh, this is fantastic. They, uh, I heard people talking about this one last month because Ken over at Mid-Level Media, who I'm going to bring up again, was doing a Nicolas Cage month, and Con Air was a movie that a lot of people were watching. I have got to watch this. I am so happy to have Con Air in the collection. 
I'm blown away. I am just utterly blown away. Oh, okay. I'm grabbing this. Another big one here. What? A TV series. What in the world? I never would have guessed for that a TV season would have been in here. This is Numbers, the complete second season. I've never watched the show, but I believe it's like a police, yeah, yeah, FBI agent, and they are trying to like use numbers to solve crimes. I, I don't even know, but hey, the complete second season. Now, honestly, unless the first season is in here, will I keep this? Man, you can just, let me just take this off for a second. Like, will I keep this one if the first season's not in here? Probably not because I'm not like super excited about it, but honestly, maybe I'll give it to my mom because she loves like shows like this. So maybe it's something she'll like, but yeah, I've never seen this before. So we'll see if that's any good or not. I'm going to put this one. Well, I'm going to put it in the keep pile. I'm going to count it as a keep because I, like I said, I'll probably end up just like handing that to my mom just because she loves that stuff. So we'll go with the keep pile. What? Rick and Morty season two. What? That's actually phenomenal. That is amazing. I am so shocked. Oh my gosh. Never. Oh, there's actually a digital code. Like, this is awesome. I am just so shocked right now. Rick and Morty season two. I don't, you know what? I think I actually sold season one a while ago because I never was watching it. So I said, ah, I don't need it. I'll just watch it streaming. But I have season two. I'm keeping that one. Even if I don't have, are these all Blu-rays? No, 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 they're not. They can't be. Anyway, I'm gonna keep that either way, so we'll keep on moving here. Ooh, nice, the Magnificent Seven. This one is sealed as well. Uh, the original Magnificent Seven, but this is one that I do own already. Um, directed, who is the director on? Is this Peckinpah? I'm gonna, I sound like an idiot if it's not. Who is it? I don't even see it, where is it? Oh my gosh. No, it's not, John Sturges. Like I said, I sound like an idiot, so I apologize. But yeah, I do own this one on Blu-ray, so that one will go into the trade pile. Uh, but that's awesome, another sealed one. I wouldn't expect so many sealed ones. Ooh, cursed. This one just came out on, uh, oof, it's kind of gross. Some hair on there. All right, moving, moving along. This one just came out on Scream Factory Blu-ray, which I have yet to pick up. I do plan to. I just haven't done it yet, but I do own this DVD already. This is super underrated in my book. Like, I think it's a good movie. I know everybody hates on it, but I think it's a fun one. So I'm happy to have it, but I do already own that. So that'll be traded away. Fast Five. See, this, this is the type of film I was expecting. Fast Five, you know, there's probably a million copies out there. I do own the, the 4K collection of the Fast and the Furious movies. So I'll be getting rid of that one. Suicide Kings. Now, as far, it, it, it maybe has changed, but as far as I know, this is one of those that has not yet made its way to Blu-ray. So DVD is the best way you can get this. Now, that changes every single day, but the last I heard, this one had not. And I actually picked this one up relatively recently because I learned that it was not available on Blu-ray. So I do own Suicide Kings already, so that'll go into the trade pile. Ooh, nice. Nicolas Cage in National Treasure. Another Nick Cage film. Heck yeah. Now, I'll tell you what. This is one that I do plan on owning. You know what? Do I own the Blu-ray? It's probably like right behind me. Actually, it would be... I don't because it would be right here because now everything's in alphabetical order. I do not own the Blu-ray. For some reason, I thought I did. So I will hold on to this because uh, until I upgrade down the road, then I will hold on to this. Uh, this is a film that my wife absolutely loves and she's been trying to get me to watch this for a while. And for whatever reason, we just haven't gotten around to it. So I can uh, I'll definitely be correcting that as soon as possible. But oh man, this is awesome. I've actually picked up a empty cases at the thrift store of this movie so many times recently. A uh, Lemony Snicket's A Series of Unfortunate Events with Jim Carrey. So I own the... Do I, I own at least one or two of the books in this series, and I've been wanting to get the movie uh, because why not, you know? And so, yeah, I'm happy to have this one. Like I said, every time I pick it up from the thrift store, it's always empty. So let me just make sure I already heard it in there, but let me just make sure there she is. Thank goodness. So, yeah, happy to add the a series of unfortunate events to the collection. This is nuts. I, like, I am so surprised right now. Another family video one. This is The Confession. John Hurt and Kiefer Sutherland. Another Kiefer Sutherland film. Now, this looks like a lesser film. Um, it's about hitmen. On Christmas Eve, the hitman enters a church to confess his sins uh, through a series of gripping flashbacks. Oh, boy. I, you guys, I, I, I love that, uh, you know, whatever, that, what is the, the term, that use, what is the term I'm thinking of? I love when they use that in movies, whatever that term is I'm trying to come up with. But uh, yeah, I don't, I'm being sarcastic, obviously. So I, I don't have it. 
I'm not terribly excited to have it either, but I'll, I'll put it in the keep pile for now, I guess, because why not? Um, and then I'll probably trade it off down the road, but for now I'll keep it. And then we have Blind, Demi Moore, Dylan McDermott, and Alec Baldwin. Five years after best-selling novelist Bill Oakland loses both his wife and his sight in a terrible car crash, uh, Dutchman is forced to read to Bill in an intimate room as a plea bargain for being associated with her husband's insider trading. What? Like, I have no idea. But the cast is really good, so I'm going to hold on to it. But that sounds really weird, frankly. I have no idea. Oh, look at that. It's, an, it's a big lot sticker they tried taking off. Love it. Going in the key pile. Don't know anything about that one either. Two for the money. Oh, you guys know it right there. So this one is going in the trade pile. Two for the money. Uh, this one was from FYE before it ended up at second and Charles. So that's being traded away. Not because of that. Oh my gosh. A duplicate? Really? I was not expecting any duplicates. That is a little bit disappointing, but given what we have here, I'm not too upset, but that's a little bit disappointing that we have a duplicate in a box of 50. All right, what's next? Ooh, another great film. No Country for Old Men. Uh, Joel and Ethan Cohen. This is a fantastic film. One that I've actually been wanting to revisit because it's been quite a while since I've seen it. But it it was it was actually it was very just stark and 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 gritty and dark. I, it was really well done. So yeah, great movie. But of course, I do own that one on Blu-ray. So I'll put that in the trade pile. Uh, Lord of the Rings. Not only is it sitting, I can't talk point up there not only is it sitting up there but i do have it the 4k set as well so that one is being traded away and let me mention the only reason i'm keeping this one is because there are a bunch of special features on this that are not on the 4k set so i figured i would just hold on to them Ooh, fatal attraction i've heard really great things about this and this was one that people if i'm not mistaken i think people talked me into saving from my inherited movies so i want to put it in maybe just to make sure but uh yeah one that i believe i do already have from my inherited movies. Ooh, Jessica Alba in The Eye. Do I own this one? Is that it right there? What does that say? Yep, it is. I do own it. So this one will go into the trade pile. And I'll mention, I do like that movie. It's not a favorite of mine, but it was, you know, big during the J-horror phase. It was, it was all right. Oh, this is cool. The Beach and Romeo and Juliet double feature. So a Leo double feature. Heck yeah, that's awesome. I uh, I really like Romeo and Juliet. We watched that when I was in high school. It's just a great film, Boz Lerman film. And then Danny Boyle directed The Beach, which I have actually not seen before. So looking forward to checking that out. And oh, good. They're on two. And yeah, there's a little writing there, but that's okay. Somebody wrote their initials on it. Oh, geez. They got it all over. I can probably get that off with some, uh, pr uh, not peroxide, but uh, rubbing alcohol. Um, but yeah, this one I will definitely keep. And I think I already have Romeo and Juliet standalone, so I can just get rid of that and hold on to this. So definitely holding on to that one. And again, I'm curious if that's counted as two or one. So I'm very interested to see how many uh, at the end I, I end up with. Oh, bestow my beating heart. I love this movie. It's one of my favorites all time. I don't care who knows it. This is a fantastic film. Of course, I own that on Blu-ray one day. One day, I hope to say that I own that on 4K, but time will tell. Sleepy Hollow. Honestly, I've not seen this one, but I've always wanted to, and I don't know if I own it. So I'm going to put this, you know what? No, I'm just going to check it right now. I'm going to do a little cut and see if I own this one or not. I do own this on a double feature, so I will put this one into the trade pile, but that's another one my wife really enjoys, so I need to see that. Ooh, what is it? Oh, another sealed one. This is a Barry Levinson film. This is Avalon. Boy, I don't know this one at all. But obviously, uh, the director of Rain Man and Good Morning Vietnam, as it's reminding me on the back here. Um, yeah, Barry Levinson's critically acclaimed semi-autobiographical masterpiece. Oh my gosh. Oh, easy for me to say. Anyway, intensely personal and yet universally appealing. Avalon follows immigrant Sam whoever and his extended family as they seek to a dream called America and a place called Avalon. So, again... Not something I'm terribly excited to add to the collection, but I will because I don't own it and it's sealed. Let me know. Am I wrong? Should I be stupid excited about that? Like, let me know if that's a great movie that I'm just missing out on. Oh, nice. J-Lo in Enough. This is a really good movie, and I have not seen this since I was in high school, I don't think. my uh, One of my friends in high school really liked this movie, and I think that's the last time I watched it. So this is good, and I am, again, 99% certain I don't own this. So let me just pull out the app and make sure that I don't have this one. But this is one, like, I am... 
fairly certain I don't. I do not own this one, fortunately, so this is going into the keep pile. Happy to have that one. All right, what is this? Ooh, Snapper Case. Oh, Rush Hour. Okay, fun movie, but I do own the triple feature on Blu-ray, so I will put this one in the trade pile. Why does this feel thicker? I'm going to open it up. Ah, it's one of these. I love when the snappers do this. I don't know why, but I think that's so cool. So, yeah, happy to have that one. Or, <laughs> no, I'm happy I already own that one on Blu-ray, but a cool movie to get nonetheless. That's going in the trade pile. All right, so I feel like potentially a lot of these next ones, excluding this, are going to be Blu-rays. It's complicated. This, I said that really weird, but this movie is uh, a great cast. I already, I think I already sold this one on Blu-ray. Like, I just don't really have an interest in this. But for the sake of numbers and statistics, I'm going to put it in the keep pile uh, because it's a movie I don't have. So I'm going to put it there and give the box the benefit of the doubt. Now, man, I really think the rest might be Blu-rays, which makes me very excited. Let's start here. See what this one is. Oh, True Grit. Awesome. I do own this exact release, though, already on Blu-ray. So True Grit is going into the trade pile. Next up. Oh, wow. Species. This is awesome. So this is actually coming out on 4K relatively soon as well. Um, I do own this, but I only have it on DVD. So I will absolutely be upgrading to the Blu-ray. Why wouldn't I? Happy to have this one. I still have not watched it, so I need to do that. I'll watch that and then I will, you know, potentially upgrade to the 4K if I love it. But we will see. What in the world is this? Looks like a uh, maybe a Asian film of some sort. Mandarin. Uh, Chinese, it looks like. Uh, yeah, so this is called Full Throttle. It, it is Hong Kong in the 90s. Joe has lacked self-confidence since his mother's death. Oh my goodness, that's not funny, but like, that's just random. So he participates in illegal motorbike racing. Like, oh my God, yes. Like this is, this has to be what? Like mid-2000s? Like Fast and the Furious time? 2010. So yeah, I mean, oh my gosh, and it's sealed. Interesting. I mean, yeah. Why not? Never a movie I would have bought on my own, but I'm happy to, to add it and see what it is. Oh, wow. I actually don't have this. This is The Godfather Coda, The Death of Michael Corleone. So I was actually just looking at the 4K release of this on Amazon Prime or during Prime Days. It was down to like 43 bucks, but I own the trilogy on Blu-ray and like I've watched it. I don't even know if I watched, I watched like the first two movies once. I don't even know if I've seen the third one, honestly, um, or to be honest with you. So I don't, I didn't think I needed to upgrade right now. I'm just going to wait until Black Friday. Maybe it'll be the same price or cheaper, but I didn't have Coda. So I will absolutely hold on to that one. That does come in the 4K set. So once I do upgrade, then I can get rid of it. But yeah, for now, I'm going to hold on to it. Ooh, Hunger Games Part 1 or Hunger Games Mockingjay Part 1. Another one I do own on Blu-ray. That one took me a long time to get, but I did get it within the last year here. So that one will go into the trade pile. Oh my God, this is like for my wife here. Stomp the yard and you got served. This is 100% up my wife's alley. And we got our boys from Mill Creek Entertainment again. The Blu-ray DVD combo pack. That's awesome. I, I mean, again, these are not these are not my types of films at all, but my wife really likes those. So my my keep pile is getting real big. You guys, yeah, you can see it. Uh, so anyway, my wife will love that. So I'm definitely holding on to that one. Another sealed one, The Gunman with Sean Penn. Another one I don't own. Uh, an action thriller, Sean Penn. Yeah, keeping it. Why wouldn't I? I'm just so excited. Like how many Blu-rays there are in this box. I'm shocked. All right, what is this? Other side of the game. You can't really see it because of that sticker. Oh boy, this one looks real low budget. And it looks like it, oh no, it's in English. I thought it might've been a foreign film. Uh, what? This is, I can't even, I just can't even read any of this. Let me open this up a little bit here so I can read what this says. It says, this has nothing to do with trust. I don't know, but again, I don't know if I'll end up keeping it or not, but for purposes of this video and for statistics, I don't own it. I'm putting it into the keep pile. That's cool for me. Maybe it'll be decent. I have no idea. Another sealed Blu-ray. Oh, okay. Out of the furnace. Very good. I do remember this one from my uh, family video days uh, from the director of Crazy Heart. That's a random thing to, to reference here, but this is Christian Bale. Uh, he leads a dead end life, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, so it looks like this is going to be another like action slash drama, but yeah, sometimes your battle chooses you. But I didn't even realize Woody Harrelson is in this. Casey, like, 
William Defoe or Willem Defoe. Like this is fantastic. Great cast on that. So yeah, holding on to that one. Oh, there it is. That big lot sticker. Gotta love that. Someone probably, you know, do, did what I do. Go out, goes out and buy a bunch of movies from like Dollar Tree and Big Lots and then decides, you know, I bought too many. I'm going to go trade some of these in, see if I can get anything for them. Ooh, J. Edgar. Very good. You know what? I just bought this one, but did I buy it on Blu-ray or I think I got it for like a dollar on Blu-ray. So this one, I just need to look. I'm fairly certain I have the Blu-ray of this already. I don't think it would be an upgrade. It was in the clearance bin at my local how do you do that? i guess i have to have the period yeah i was i have it on blu-ray so this was on the clearance bin at my local disc replay so i grabbed it recently so that is being traded away all right we're getting down to the end here i think there's only two little three left one of them has a slip so that one's going last thor all right uh you know not my favorite of the uh mcu at all but one I already do own already on Blu-ray, so I will put that in the trade pile. I probably own the Blu-ray 3D. Iron Man 2, another one, not the greatest of the MCU, but I do own that one on Blu-ray 3D, maybe? At least Blu-ray. And then last but not... Oh, man, this is cool. Like, I love that this is the last one. Reminis, reminis I think is how you would say this, with Hugh Jackman. This Blu-ray was down to like $3 on Amazon recently, and I still didn't buy it. But hey, I got it for whatever the cents it cost me here. Heck yeah, I will definitely pick this one or, you know, hold on to this one. And it has the slip cover with it. This is a recent one. Like, I'm surprised this is in a box like this because I would think that these would be mostly movies that have been sitting there for a long time. And this one, I feel like, did not come out. Well, maybe it did. The The code expires this year. So maybe this one is a little bit older than I'm thinking. But um, either way, happy to have this one in the collection. So Reminisce wraps it up. So the only thing I need to do is check on my uh, over in my inherited movie, see if I have Fatal Attraction and my four pack here already. So then I can give you guys some numbers. So let me go do that. Okay, so I found out that Fatal Attraction I actually own on Blu-ray already, which I just totally forgot about. Uh, but this one, I cannot find. I swear I own this one somewhere, but for the meantime, I'm putting it in the keep pile just because I don't know. So it's going in the keep pile. And these statistics that I have for this are insane to me. So what this means, and I'm not going to, well, let me do this, I guess, real quick, just so you can see. These are the stacks over here. That's You're looking at the keep. That's the cell. So those are what they look like, at least a little bit. So I am selling, or it's the sell slash trade pile, 23 of them, which is only 39.7%. I am keeping 35 of them, which is 60.3%, which means that there was a total of 58 uh, items in this box. And that counts that triple feature that had the three separate movies as one. So that's phenomenal. I had eight more than I was supposed to get. And two of them were TV seasons, which is insane. I didn't expect that at all either. Now of the 58, 15 of them were Blu-ray. So 25.9%, which is more than I expected, quite a bit more than I expected in terms of percentage. And then DVDs made up the other 74.1% at 43. So uh, I did expect one to be uh, more DVDs than Blu-rays, but not quite to be uh, not that, not quite as many Blu-rays, I guess. So that's a, a win as well. Um, and then just my keep, I never in a million was, would have guessed that I kept 60%. Like, what, would, what I don't even remember what I guessed. Maybe, I don't remember what I guessed at this point. Maybe 40% of them. Uh, so, yeah, 60% is amazing. And then I was looking through my items that I'm keeping. And out of the 35 that I'm keeping, I said to myself, which of these would I have seen myself buying on my own? Whether it was from disc replay, from the thrift store, or just, you know, brand new on the shelf. What of these do I think I would have bought? on my own and i'm saying out of the pile here on first glance 18 of the 35 which is 51.4 percent of them like that is amazing i had no expectations at all coming into this well frankly they were super low coming into this but i was blown away second and charles really nailed it with this box now obviously your mileage may vary right like you might hate all of the movies that i decided to keep or you might already own all of these movies, or you might just, you know, not own any of them. And so you want to keep 100% of them. It just completely depends on the person. So if I ever do this again, which if you guys want to see me do a video like this again in the future, please leave those comments below and I will happily do this a second time. Um, but 
in the future, I might get just a dreadful box or I might get something just as good or better. I have no idea. That's what's fun about these blind boxes is it could go in quite literally any direction. So this was like super, it almost was nostalgic for me because my inherited movie collection ran for so long and I loved doing that every single week. And I have been craving something similar to that ever since. And this is exactly what I love. Just opening things, talking about what I know about them, learning about them with you guys on camera. Like, I love this. And so I was so happy I was able to do this. But yeah, that I guess is going to do it for this one, guys. I hope you enjoyed this. It's a little different, a little probably a little bit longer than some of my more recent ones have been. But man, this was a lot of fun. So hopefully you guys had fun with it as well. But let me know down in the comments below, do you want to see another one of these? Like, was this something you enjoyed? You guys saw the stack at uh, Second and Charles. They have a giant stack of these. So I can always go back and get another one the next time I'm in the area if there's any interest in it, of course. But yeah, so much fun. And also let me know what you guys have seen out of these that I am keeping that I should put toward the top of my list. Let me know any and all recommendations you guys have down there. I thank you all so much for all of your support all the time. It means so much to me. So thanks for that. But as always, if you guys did enjoy this one, please give it a like down below. That engagement really does help me out. And like I always say, I don't just talk movies. I talk all things media. So maybe next time I'll buy that hardcover book pack or that 100 CD pack. I mean, I have no idea, but let me know what you think down below. But anyway, I talk all things media, be it books, movies, video games, graphic novels, manga. If it's media related, I'm interested in it. And if you are too, you might consider subscribing. All right, guys, so that's gonna do it for today. I just wanna say thank you all so much for watching, and I want to encourage you to consume some media today. I'll catch you next time. <laughs> <laughs>